Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce. I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how you can do automatic deployments of applications on GitHub to Heroku. So what I'm going to do is start from scratch. I have a GitHub repository here that I'm going to start by forking. And then I'll have a copy of this code in my own repository. And then we'll be able to start working on this and deploy this application to Heroku uh, once and then deploy it whenever there's a change. So let's click that Deploy to Heroku button. So this will now go through the wizard to do this deployment on Heroku. So when I do this deployment, it's going to deploy on the free single dyno of Heroku, so it's not going to cost me anything. We can see the build output there. This is a Node.js Express application, and it's going to launch it. So we can go check out the app, make sure it looks right, and there we go. Hello world, that's what we expected to see. And now if we go to Manage App, now we can set up the auto deployment for this app on Heroku. So I'm going to click on Deploy and then I'm going to click on GitHub and now I can connect up to GitHub so say connect to GitHub and I'm going to go through the OAuth and authorize Heroku to access my stuff on GitHub now that I'm, uh, I've authorized GitHub I can go search for that repository so that was uh, had the name node in it should be able to just search for node there there we go we see that repository that I had just forked and I can hit connect now this will connect up this stormy oasis 1334 app on Heroku up to that github repository now to enable automatic deployments uh, I can go in here and select which branch I only have one just master if I'm using continuous integration uh, then I could wait for the continuous integration pass to test before I do deployment uh, but I'm just gonna hit this enable automatic deploys so now whenever there is a change made on the master branch of that github repository it's going to automatically deploy that to Heroku there's a couple of other features here uh, we can do uh, pull request apps which create new apps whenever there's a pull request makes it really easy uh, and then you can also of course do manual deployments from here as well so let's go make a quick little change to this app on github so I've got my web.js this is my my main file here for my app and I'm gonna come in and change hello world to hello James and then um, say hello James we're going to commit that to master and commit those changes. Great, so I've made those changes to my app on GitHub. So now Heroku should pick up those changes and start automatically deploying them. We can go to the activity tab and see uh, if that's happening. It looks like it is. So less than a minute ago, we have a build in progress. We can come through and see the build output. Looks like the build has already succeeded and it's going uh, to finish deploying this and launch it on Heroku. So it looks like it's launched. Let's go check it out and make sure we see that deployment there. Hello, James. Looks good. Great, so now we have automatic deployment set up to deploy automatically whenever I make changes on a GitHub repository. I use this feature all the time with Heroku uh, and becomes a, a really easy way to set up a continuous delivery pipeline with Heroku. There's additional steps you can add into this pipeline. So right now I'm just deploying to a seemingly production application whenever there are changes. What I've done in the past for to have a, a bit more of a um, secure and reliable process for deployment is I'll have a staging application that I'll deploy to automatically from GitHub but wait for my CI to validate the build and then I'll be able to go test the staging environment make sure everything is good and then I can use the releases plugin of Heroku to then promote from staging to production when I'm ready to do so. So there you go, that's automatic deployments to Heroku from GitHub. Thanks for watching.